What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're gonna to be talking about a very important privacy feature on your Galaxy phone that you definitely need to be aware of. Also, if you're using any other Android phone, this will be relevant to you as well. So if you have a secondary phone that you use in addition to your Galaxy phone, it's also Android. This will also be very important to check out. We're gonna get into it and I'll show you how to enable it. Before we get started, I do wanna thank my four-year-old son, Jonathan. We've always got some toys to hang out in the video. Today we have the Penguin. You guys can see him right there. Looking really, really nice. And of course, we also have a dino as usual. We've got the Dilophosaurus here today, looking very, very fierce. Huge shout out to my son. Also want to give a huge shout out to my friends and partners over at Mint Mobile. If you're looking to save some money on your wireless service, Mint Mobile has premium wireless starting at just $15 a month. And right now they have one of their best offers ever. You can get any of their plans for just $15 a month, including their unlimited plan. And when you do that, you get six months of the Paramount Plus Essential plan on Mint Mobile, which means no additional charge when you buy any of their plans. Like I said, all the plans are $15 a month, but I've talked about the various options many times. Just to recap, with the new customer offer, you've got the five gig plan, 15 gig plan, 20 gig plan, and the unlimited plan. But since they're all $15 a month, the unlimited plan is the best value. You can see it's normally $30 a month, so you're getting it for 50% off, which is an amazing deal. In addition to that Paramount Plus Essentials bundle on Mint Mobile, which is an added perk. All their plans come on limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. You can either a physical SIM or an eSIM if you've got a phone like the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, which you can choose from the drop down there that has eSIM compatibility. You can get your SIM right away instead of waiting for it in the mail. Uh, we've used them here in Phoenix for quite a while, almost two years. Love the service, save a ton of money. If you guys want to try it, go to my link, trymintmobile.com slash Springer. It's also find it in the pinned comment description. And uh, if you guys want to give them a shot, it is a limited time offer, not only on the uh, $15 a month for all the plans, but also on that additional six months of Paramount Plus Essentials. So give them a try today, trymintmobile.com slash Springer. We do appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. So getting into today's video, uh, you probably are aware that there are a lot of trackers out there like the Apple AirTag, like Samsung's Galaxy SmartTag and the SmartTag Plus. Uh, all these various trackers you can clip onto your suitcase, you can throw in your backpack, you can put in your wallet. And now Android and Google have released their own Find My System, which supports Android specific trackers and uh, companies like Pebble here, Pebble B, I have a terrible time pronouncing it, Pebble B, they've released some Android specific ones like this new one that goes in the card, uh, card for Android, tag for Android, and their clip for Android. I actually have some of these coming. I'm gonna do a comparison of these guys to the Galaxy Smart Tag. So if you guys wanna check that out, make sure you say subscribe to the channel for the full review. But the fact that Android is releasing their own Find My System means that we're gonna have a lot more trackers you know, out there. Obviously with Apple and Samsung already, there's a lot out there. And these can be used for great purposes, but they can also be used for nefarious purposes, which means for people to track you unbeknownst to you, right? They can throw one in your bag, or accidentally put one in your pocket, or you know, a, a multitude of things, ways that they could track you. Because of that, it's really important to be aware of when one of these trackers is following you around or is in one of your belongings. So to do this, go ahead and go into your settings. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the safety and emergency setting inside of One UI. Go ahead and tap on safety and emergency. And right here at the very bottom, you will see this setting, unknown tracker alerts. So right here it says, when alerts are on, you'll get a notification if an unknown tracker is detected traveling with you. Alerts are deleted after 48 hours. Allow alerts, so I have this turned on. You do have to turn on your location. I don't have that on because of this specific video. Usually I leave it turned off just so that I don't drain additional video because I got all my brightness and stuff cranked up. Turn on your location, of course. It says you can still run manual scans without turning on device location. No tracker alerts right here, scanning paused. If you want to do a manual scan, check for trackers near you right now. You can see here, it's gonna go ahead and run the manual scan and manual scan results, unlike the one where it's automatically checking all the time, these are not saved to your device. So just keep that in mind. So no trackers detected, so that's good. There's no unknown trackers not moving, you know, moving with me right now, which there shouldn't be since I'm at my desk shooting a video. And it tells you down here about them. Trackers are small Bluetooth devices that owners can attach to items like keys or backpack. In some cases they may use to track people without their knowledge. Only compatible trackers can be detected. So if you're wondering which trackers can be detected, you can see down here, one, what it is that you get. And it tells you unknown tracker alerts currently work with Find My Device Networks compatible with tags and 
Apple AirTags, right? So this will track Apple AirTags as well that are moving with you, um, not only the ones from Android. So just keep that in mind. And then over here, it says what you should do if you get a tracker alert, locate the tracker. If you find it, tap next steps, disable the tracker. It says make sure you're in a public location, right? And contact law enforcement if you feel that you're not safe. Um, you can also go here, play sound to find an unknown tracker. Um, that's a feature if you actually find one that's moving with you. And it gives you a whole bunch of other information and uh, various things that you can do. And you can see here all the ones that will show up in the manual scans. So, of course, if you have a tracker that is registered to you, like if you have your own Galaxy Smart Tag, which I have a few of those that I actually carry around with me all the time, those will not show up here, so you don't have to worry about that. If it's a tracker that is yours, that's supposed to be with you, your phone will be aware of that and you don't have to worry about picking up an unknown tracker, right? These are only trackers that are not registered to you, so they're ones that you don't know about. You can also read more about how it works here. It'll tell you more about how it actually uses Bluetooth uh, and your location to kind of figure out if these trackers are moving with you. And so a lot of other great tips. So I want to make a mention of one thing that I realized after I finished the video, so I'm inserting this after the fact. The new uh, search for smart trackers that I showed you guys will only find trackers in the Android Find My Network and Apple AirTags. If you have a Galaxy Smart Tag or the Smart Tag 2, that system will not find those unknown trackers, but there's still a way to do that inside of Samsung Smart Things. So if you go up to your settings and just search inside your Galaxy phone for Smart Things under connected devices, scroll down, choose Smart Things from the list. Now, find one of the trackers that you own. For instance, I have this Galaxy Smart Tag 2 attached to my duffel bag. If I tap on this and you go into the, it'll give you a lot of information about your Smart Tag, but if you go to the top three little dots here, and go to help, it'll sell right here, search for unknown tags near you. You can tap on that, and then this will allow you to go ahead and do that. So he says, if a tag doesn't belong to you moving with you, the owner could be using it to track you. You can only find tags that are disconnected from the owner's device for a while. Smart things need to be allowed to access your location while using the app to maintain the connection. So if you tap here, it'll take you in there, and you can go ahead and search for the unknown tags that are near you that are Galaxy Smart Tags. So this process will do that and then you'll be able to find any of those as well. So like I said, wanted to mention this because it is the case that the new version that I showed you guys that's built into all of Android that allows you to search for unknown trackers traveling with you only works with the new Android Find My Network and the Apple AirTags, but this way you can take care of all of those tags and you can see there's no unknown tags near me. So obviously this is gonna be a big deal, like I said, especially with Google rolling out the Android Find My Network in addition to the fact that Apple already has a bunch out there, Samsung has a bunch out there. It's great to have this ability built into Android and One UI so that you can make sure you're staying safe. And if you do find those unknown trackers, again, make sure you take those safety steps to disable them. And also if you feel like your safety is at risk, get to a public place and contact law enforcement, etc. Anyway, wanted to let you guys know about this feature. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. Again, huge shout out to our friends and partners over at Mint Mobile. Check it out, trymintmobile.com slash Springer. If you want to sign up for this limited time offer, all the plans are $15 a month. You also get that six months of Paramount Plus Essentials on Mint Mobile, which is fantastic. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.